What if you're married? Sex stopped. Mm. Go see a counselor first. Communicate. Yep. Should be communicating. Should be trying to figure out why y'all not having sex. What if it's like 100% her on her? In in what way? What 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 would the issue be? She just You're, doesn't want to have sex. She's not attracted to you anymore. Sure. Get attractive again? I guess I don't know. Nah, that's grounds for a divorce. Divorce time. Yeah, that's grounds for a divorce. Divorce time. Dead bedroom. You expect me yeah. to be loyal and you're not giving me sex? We gotta have a series. Here's talk. a question for the ladies on this: Do you think a man should stay in a sexless marriage? And assuming he's he's an otherwise good husband, he's tried, he's tried to do the counseling. Do you think a man should stay in a sexless marriage, or should anyone stay in a sexless marriage? I think it let's say the guy's not giving reason. you dick. Mm-hmm. Your boyfriend's not giving you dick. What's the no. reason? Though? Maybe on your honeymoon. Or not honeymoon. Uh, he has erectile dysfunction. He just didn't disclose it to you. Nah, I don't know if that's <laughs> that's different. Uh, do you think a man should stay in a sexle- sexless marriage or relationship? If like the other person medically can't have sex, I believe like yeah, they should stay. But if it's just like the other person's just like you said, not attracted and just like doesn't want to have they sex. They don't. They don't want it. I feel like sex um, intimacy, like mm-hmm. overall, is such an important part in a relationship. So if you're not having that connection in that way, what's the point of the relationship to begin with? Mm-hmm. Honestly, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, like not a clue. I've never thought about that. Hmm. Okay, she gets a pass. I mean. Like, we're not able to, like, work things out? Like, it's just, he just doesn't want to do it? Can you explain it to me a little bit? Let's just say he has a decline in attraction to you. Oh. He doesn't want to have sex with you. Um, I'd prefer to work things out and, like, talk things out. But, like, intimacy is a big part of, like, romantic relationships. So, if, like, we're not connecting in that way, I feel like we shouldn't be together. Yeah, I feel like it comes down to communication. Like, if it's not... If you can't work it out and, like, break it down to, like, why this is happening, then maybe you shouldn't be together with the person. I don't know. Gosh, that's hard. Um, Have you been withholding? What? Have you been withholding? What? Huh? Withholding. What's your husband's name? Wisdom? What about Is that his name? Is that his name? Wisdom? He's perfectly satisfied. Wisdom? <laughs> How you know? Did is you she ask me? is she rejecting her wifely duties? No, never. Okay, what about you? Oh, um, I have a high sex drive, and I've actually had a couple of my partners in the past tell me that my sexual appetite scares them, and oh. that quickly for mm-hmm. me feels like we aren't on the same wavelength. If I want it too often for what you can supply, then I need to be looking elsewhere for what's satisfying. When you say, like, what's the appetite looking like? Are you, you need it like three times a day type shit? I, I prefer that, yeah. That's that's a lot. That is a lot. That's too much. Mm. For, for me. For me, I can't oh handle goodness. Couldn't handle that. This is life. <laughs> but what if what's, like the, what's the most, like, wait, what's the most amount of times you've can't. had sex in a day? I don't know. I don't actually It's know. over 9,000! Not 9,000. Let's be realistic. Your answer to the question. Um, I think physical intimacy is really important in a relationship, especially in marriage. But I think like communicating and like spiking up the marriage. When you get married, the honeymoon phase does pass. And sometimes you do lose interest in your partner because you're working hard to pay the house off. Or like you guys are just becoming so distant just because of the things that you're dealing with at the moment. I know funds is like a big reason why partners do have difficulties in sparking up I guess the intercourse um but doing things that like are out of their comfort zone trying new things like the sex toys like you guys like bowing like what bowing bow i mean like i'm not gonna lie like if it works it works like oh my goodness but like if it works it works like you gotta give it what about you (sighs) this is a Um, tough one i don't know yeah i i think that a physical intimacy a man shouldn't be forced to live out the rest of his marriage in a sexless marriage am I saying that right <clears throat> but definitely there's a lot to talk about and unpack with it you got to be open to be vulnerable and have those conversations 
I think if both people are aligned, there will be a solution to the sexlessness of the relationship and to just duck out because you haven't got some in a while is ridiculous. And no, I think there's got to be a resolve for that. Yeah, Which I, there's a way to I am holding on to yeah. Yeah. holding yeah. on to the hope that it could be fixed and yeah. having faith and praying about it and yeah. seeing counselors like yeah. you have to go down all those avenues before you're just like hey it's been six months I'm gonna dip out like mm -hmm. you know there could be something else going on well I think a good faith effort should be made to mend whatever is causing that right but, I mean if you're the man we hear about this a lot from men where typically because for example uh, in lesbian relationships, this is incredibly common, dead bedrooms. Uh, so it does seem to be, granted there are women who have really high sex drives, uh, but it does seem to be something that occurs more so on the woman's end that, than the man's end. Mm -hmm. So I would, th I mean, if you've attempted to resolve it, figure it, get it all figured out in a good faith way, maybe you went to counseling, maybe you tried to spice things up, and uh, actually, there was like some crazy thing of this guy. He tracked <laughs> all the times. The they, they, Wait, Nick, could you, could you try to Google really quick? Like mm -hmm. man spreadsheet, oh. wife rejects sex, something like that. It should yeah. find it. I honestly think if you've made a good, good faith effort uh, and you want, like that's something you, because obviously, look, you could accept it. You could accept it. Be like, well, I'm going to just accept a sexist marriage. But if it's like, hey, this is. I think uh, it would be reasonable grounds for divorce. I don't think you should cheat, but it would be reasonable grounds for divorce. Let us know when you've got, holy shit, I haven't seen Chino Mesa town in a minute. God damn, where you been, bro? Okay, do you have it? Yeah. Let's see it, there it is. Can you scroll up a little bit or just so we see the top of this? Mm. Date, sex, excuse. So he tracked it. <laughs> Uh, he, he attempted. These are all the times. Angelic, could you read the excuses? Okay. Um, I'm watching the show. Friends rerun. I feel sweaty and gross. I need a shower. Didn't shower until next morning. Nonverbal. I'm exhausted. I'm still a bit tender from yesterday. Yeah. Nonverbal. I'm trying to watch the movie. Fell asleep 15 minutes later. I'm too drunk and I ate too much. I won't have time to get showered and ready for dinner. We were 20 minutes early. I just came back from the gym. I feel gross. Didn't shower until next morning. Nonverbal. I have to be up early. Nonverbal. You're too drunk. I feel gross. I'm not feeling good. I ate too much. I'm sweaty and gross. And I'm tired. Nonverbal. I might be getting sick. I still don't feel 100%. I need a shower. I feel gross. I'm too tired. No. Nonverbal. I'm watching my show. I don't want to miss anything. So this is over the course of like six weeks, a month and a half or so. Wait, actually, hold on. Let me bring it back really quick. So that's three, three yeses. 27 no's. Three, three yeses, yeses, 27 no's. Lord. Three yeses over the course of six weeks. I like the dedication he bad. took. That's bad. Damn, son. I feel like at that point, there's something in your relationship you guys need to work out. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 You should be talking about it. Yeah. She clearly has it's some insecurities, too. Like, she doesn't feel good about herself. I feel gross came up a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's an excuse, though. Yeah. It, is. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is. It's an excuse. Those are all excuses. But is he going out of his way to also make her feel like she shouldn't be feeling gross and that he loves her body even if she's just like a little bit smelly or be like, when why don't we take a sexy shower together? Why don't why don't I wash you off, honey? Like, Maybe oh my he god. Tried that. Yeah. If yeah, a man I was like, let me bathe you. Because because obviously these are all <laughs> times that he tried to initiate and was rejected. So mm -hmm. shouldn't the wife desire and and that? and the and the excuses and the rejections have no tone. She could be really, she could be really, you know what I mean, nasty towards him. Like True. no, like. I'm not gonna lie though. As a woman, I have a very low sex drive. However, if I'm in love with a man, that sex drive gets boosted, like it skyrockets because I'm in love with him and I feel that love. And if the love isn't there, the intimacy's not intimacy's not gonna be there. Mm. So. Mm -hmm. 